Hi everyone, it's Terry and Chanchas. I'm here with your weekly love messages from your person. So, those of you who have never done this before, your person has to do basically your person of interest. It could be a crush or, you know, anything from a crush all the way to soulmate, twin flame, whatever you want to, um, however you want to see it. It can be boyfriends and husbands and, and people you're in a and you know domestic relationship with already if you want it to be but it because their messages from your person is it's usually indicates there's some kind of non-communication going on here some kind of distance some kind of um having trouble getting in touch with feelings and expressing feelings so we're going to help you understand what your person's feelings are what they want to tell you and then we'll get kind of a clue from spirit and what this is about and where it's headed. And more times than not, usually high level soulmate and twin flame relationship comes out because that's just the way things work with my channel. <laughs> but um, if you, you know, you apply it the way you see fit, okay? So whether you're a querent, the question, the one that's asking the question, a cross watcher somebody who is the person that the person that you're interested in watching to see what you're gonna pick you know or anything in between you know male female masculine feminine if you are same sex or opposite sex anything goes here I'm just I'm using these three princes to be our guides today so you can either resonate with them or not just choose your favorite prince so we here we have Prince Adam who's I had no idea his name was Adam like I don't okay I didn't know that so that's the beast after he's transformed I like this pose because he's still kind of not completely all there yet you know he's still a little bit oh he's awakening it's like the awakening he's going through right now Here's Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid and Prince Naveen from The Frog Prince. All right, so let's relax. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes, release your breath, open your eyes. Now you can choose more than one prince. Sometimes your prince has qualities of all of these guys and sometimes your messages, you'll find your messages in more than one pile. And it could be a bigger story. I never know what's going to happen because it's a live shuffle. So it could be more than one pile that calls out to you. If so, it's perfectly fine. So pick whatever pile you're drawn to and let's begin. All right, here we have Prince Adam. We're going to go ahead and use my Enchanted Embrace love lyrics love song titles and combination of songs you know just can just be like the meaning behind the song there's two left in my etsy shop and then after these get sold i'm gonna um put the etsy shop maybe on vacation for a little while until new batches come in but i have been ordering new things it just it takes me a little while <laughs> all right let's see what your messages are um, your person. Ooh, nice. Good. Off to the right start. I want to make love to you. Ooh. What? A, you're still kind of a beast, aren't you? <laughs> I will love you to my dying day. Your hair shimmers in the moonlight. I live with you in my dreams. Yes. All right. And let's see. We'll move these guys over. And... will work on now his feelings or her feelings your person's feelings what are they feeling right now what's going on with them let's see what are their feelings it's a little rainy so i hope you might you hear some of the rain ambiance it dies down then it picks up again let's see What is your person's feelings? Also, we're me and um, Queen Sugar are coming out tonight. He's a little anxious, feeling like I'm losing my mind. Maybe I'm in my head too much. Mm-hmm. 
something with their where whatever their situation is and they're in they're kind of feeling anxious you can help them by feeling peaceful and send them peaceful vibes they're hard at work though feeling like my focus right now needs to be on work i'm productive and essential and this is important to me you know you may be important to them but so is their work whatever they have whatever they it's kind of for some you know male or female but i feel definitely the masculine has sort of a their ego relies a lot upon their work you know then there are too the people who have a you know um a purpose a project a, a you know they're living their destiny i feel like if you are in like in a twin flame relationship your destiny can be part of the same whole you know part of the same life path but if you're not necessarily if you just love somebody they just might be busy at work <laughs> you know they just might not be able to give you all the attention you need because they're working hard but they're enthusiastic you know feeling very excited to be with you i want to spend quality time with you you know they they feel bad i guess not giving you as much time as they should i think they definitely want to give you more attention let's see what else Ooh, and they're also feeling confident so feeling good in my skin and feeling good about us as a couple that's really good they well they think you guys the two of you are a great couple let's see what else they might have to say let's look at we're going to use um, Queen Sugar's pink love notes number two I'm kind of they I have been lazy about co coloring the sides, <laughs> so kind of a mix match here. Some are colored, some are not. All right, so what else do they have to say to you? What else does your person have to say? What else? Where are you? <laughs> are you being quiet too? Are they, are you both being quiet? Have you both decided to stop talking? You are the song of my soul. I will wait for you. Text me. They would definitely want you to reach out to them. I know maybe it's important not to, you know, maybe there's, this part of you that feels that the feminine, if you're the feminine, that it's their job to reach out to you and not the other way around. But maybe it, it maybe it's your turn, you know? Let's see. What do the princesses have to say? <laughs> I haven't used them in a while. This is a little deck that I made out of jumbo princess um, playing cards, and I turned it into um, a Lennerman. So let's see. But they've always been very accurate and helpful. Let's see what the pretty, pretty, pretty princesses have to say. <laughs> pretty, pretty princess. Ooh, there's some kind of mystery going on here. Uh huh. I like we got the pumpkin. Makes me think of this time of year on Halloween coming up and ten for October. Leisure. Ooh, so interesting. Maybe you'll get to spend some time together in October. There's something hidden about this though. Let's see if we can get one more to tell us what's hidden. Oh, <laughs> okay. A hidden support system that you may not realize is happening here. Something interesting. Okay. And we got two nines. Think something happening right now in September, like this leisure and the support, and then then you've got something, a mystery coming up in, in December for you, possibly. All right, let's see what the romance and the angels have to say about all this. I don't know. I wonder what sign Adam is, because he looks a little bit like my nephew, Daniel. And, my, and he, my nephew is a Gemini. My son's a Gemini, and he kind of does have a little bit of that Gemini vibe you know features sometimes look similar but between 
sim same signs, you know? All right, let's see. Ooh, you got flirt. And ooh, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so we're reading about your soulmate. Something interesting and mysterious is happening here. Let's see about your... Let's see what the tarot has to say. What does the tarot have to say about all of this? This also I'm working on putting these um, all my decks in printer studio and hopefully being able to sell them there so that um, in white boxes. That way you can get them um, even well the the uh, foil one you'll only be able to get in my shop so I'll just like you know that way I can decide what to have in my shop <laughs> and then the regular one you cannot you can get in printer studio so that's kind of my my idea let's see Ooh, you got a lot came out so seven of pentacles this is all about divine timing waiting for that perfect moment and then that will be it then you have the Nine of Wands. Again, another Nine here. Nine of Wands is, is the um, the wounded warrior. Work, this person has tried very hard. Like They keep working at it and working at it, making plans and making progress. I feel like this very much makes me think of like the movie Cold Mountain, how Inman like traveled so far, finally got to his woman at the end of the movie, you know, but he had a lot of trials and tribulations on the way, but he he persevered, he made it. Then you've got um, the Nine of Cups, wishes coming true, perfect, you know, your wishes are coming true in this situation, the things that you've hoped for, that you dreamed for, they are happening, all right? two nines again wow so you're gonna start i mean before the month is over you're gonna see signs of your dreams coming true more and more signs will come in and you'll know and then things will start to develop more in october i think let's see what the signs have to say i got a sewing machine stuck on my thumb you might be making something creating stuff Oh, that's a lot. Well, I'll just drop them all. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do all of this? You know what? I'm going to put out this plate so we can dissect these. This is kind of like your future. This is the wheel. You know, October, things are going to go into retrograde. So that's one thing to be cautionary about. But it's actually a good thing because um, it could be a time to revisit things and, and rework things. Yeah, something new is coming in. Just go for, you know, don't don't think about the big, long journey, you know. Just go for short journeys. You know when I did the MS-150, I, I didn't think about the whole thing. I just thought about the next 10 miles and the next 10 miles. And then, so that's kind of what you got to do. Be the little, like, you know, speak your voice. Don't hide your voice. Don't, you know, don't sell your voice just to win the prince. Ooh, see, we got Disney coming out, Disney in the house, Disney saying, yep, you can get a lot of good metaphors and and um, morals and, and happily ever after stories here in Disney. <laughs> we'll, we'll tell it to you. You got Pixie Dust, too. Tinkerbell is like the final ingredient to fly, you know, and she's got that Pixie Dust, so you're going to have that final push, that that support that you need. You've got Aladdin, so some of you have the um, Aladdin here. I I had to really debate on what people to put out um, as markers, and I wanted so bad to put out Aladdin, but he's he's not. You know, in the, the beginning of the story, he's not a prince, but he turns into a prince. Like so many of the princes become princesses because they marry a prince. Aladdin becomes royalty because he marries royalty. So there is that chance, you know that you could it's like you could marry royalty in a way it's like you can make you can go from rags to riches you can do the, have that kind of transformation it's all in the crystal ball it's in the future you can see it developing you got an o you got sure you've got the airplane which may be traveling you've got um 
the emeralds. This is like something very beautiful, rich, sparkly. Uh, it could also represent somebody's beautiful green eyes. You've got the camera, so it could somebody could be a model out there, or somebody taking selfies, or somebody else looking at your selfies. Um, it could also be being a tourist and taking pictures, or just a photographer and being creative. Like with the sewing machine, it could be your hobby or your job to be a creative person. You're nice and stable and anchored and sturdy. Um, you also have a great spirituality about you. And, uh, oh, you got nine again. I think that's nine, yeah. Nine is a very important number for you guys. It's the beginning and the ending, and beginnings and endings, you know. It's an ending, so a beginning can happen. You've got um, a tree. It's like, are you coming to the tree? It's The tree is great because it's all about roots that are firmly in the ground and branches that branch out and in, in growing. You've got um, the prayer hands. It's, all, it's like about manifesting. So you're manifesting miracles. And you have the Scrooge. He's also had interesting character development, you know, and he had to, I think maybe the October thing might be revisiting like ghosts from the past and that come to, to you or your person to make them realize that that love is more important than the material things that they have in, you know, they keep focusing on all the time. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so... I hope you like that, you guys. I'm going to move quickly on to the next just because I don't feel like talking a lot. But mostly I just want to say I'm going to go live tonight with Queen Sugar. So please come out and check that out at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we're, I decided um, I'm not going to go w with my face tonight because I'm just kind of like in the mood to play with the Scrabble tonight. So come out and play Scrabble with me. Live Super Chat. And then with uh, but and Queen Sugar will do your pendulum readings for you. So we'll we'll talk about the the rules when we get there tonight. I only want to do it no more than two hours. So you know it's first come first serve. I'll make a list, and you know we'll just you know go as we can. And if we get too many people, I'm just gonna have to cut it off. I usually cut off um, about an hour into it that way I know I can I can do a whole nother hour with you know basically that's how it, it works it's it's a little funny but it, it it works usually works out okay so just just realize when you get there first come first serve and then it's gonna get cut off and then I'm just gonna work until 11 okay 9 till 11 all right I'm gonna move on to the next now okay and here we have Prince Eric I guess as far as looks are concerned, Prince Eric is sort of my ideal. Like, I love the blue eyes and dark hair. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not picky. I like, <laughs> I mean, princes in, in all categories. All three of these princes are very handsome. All right, so let's see what your message is from your prince, from your person. Um, male or female, so it doesn't matter. But I did gear this, you know, because my interest is, is masculine male so i did gear my cards that i made with the the idea that it's it's a masculine speaking to you or singing to you all right so let's see what does your divine it doesn't have to be divine could be you know just the regular guy <laughs> what does your person male or female masculine or feminine want to tell you Yay. how wonderful life is with you in this world i agree <laughs> I want to write your name in the sky. That's all about, you know, like, some people, you may not realize this, but there are some people who hide their feelings and they don't want to tell people about your relationship. This person wants to write your name in the sky, wants everybody know, to know how you feel. Also, when I see that, I think of, um, I think, like, uh, some people propose like that. Like, Sarah, will you marry me? <laughs> you are mine. Let's do one more. A little bit on the possessive side, but you know, I'll take it. <laughs> Let's see what else. Your hair shimmers in the moonlight. See, this one does kind of, uh, it could like match up with pile number one. So let's see what their feelings might be right now. What are, what is your person feeling right now? What is your person feeling?
What is your person feeling? What is your person feeling? Ooh, divine masculine. Okay, so this probably is a masculine. Um, it, it, but it doesn't have to be a male necessarily. This is saying, I am your counterpart. I am complete when I'm with you. You are the missing piece. We travel our life path together. See, I mentioned that in the first pile. It's like, even if the person's working, doesn't mean that they have to exclude you. Maybe your, maybe work is your life path, you know, together. Maybe there's some people who haven't figured out what job is actually their life path, you know? Ooh, a passion. <laughs> nice. I feel a strong desire to take you in my arms and get naughty with you. Nice. Naughty, naughty. What else? Oh, they're also anxious. That kind of ties in with the pile number one. Feeling like I'm losing my mind. Maybe I'm in my head too much. Maybe because they're seeing things that aren't really true, you know. They see something that seems like, or maybe it is true, but they feel like the floor is about to swallow them whole. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Hoping I'm wrong. Maybe you had a nice lunch date with a good friend who is not the boyfriend or maybe your brother or something like that and they're getting the wrong impression you know so they're getting a little possessive like hey wait a minute you know you're mine you don't belong to anybody else who's this person so yeah let's see what else they might have to say <laughs> let's see this is queen sugar's love notes pop d part two let's not get that many <laughs> it's like, almost like the cards are speak stubborn like yes get this many okay we'll take this one my heart is yearning for you oh my heart is yearning for you too prince eric <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right let's see anything else anything else Anything else? Let's take this too. Sometimes I just stare at my phone and become stuck. I need time to love myself more. Yeah, that definitely makes sense with the divine fe um, feminine. I said I was about to say, but masculine. Both of you might be mirroring each other in this whole. I've got to love myself more. You know, so love yourself more, so your person can love themselves more. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what else we can get. What do what let's see what they um princesses have to say. So I made this really this cute deck out of a jumbo princess cards and I made turned it into like a lemon deck. And it's worked really good in readings in the past. Some of you might remember. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the princesses have to say. What do the princesses have to say? What do the princesses have to say? What's going on in this situation? What's going on in this situation? Sorry, I don't mean to bump. I didn't mean to bump into you. What's going on in this situation? Okay, we've got, ooh, admiration. <gasps> nice. <laughs> Prince Eric admires um, Ariel. You're so pretty. I think you're so pretty. Too bad you can't sing. <laughs> See, don't give up your voice because then Prince Eric won't realize you have one. He'll just think you're a pretty girl with no voice. Let's see what else. What else? Ooh, that's too many. Let's keep going. I need, I'd like a couple more, please. Two more can help the story out. What's going on for pile two? All right, we've got destiny. You are each other's destiny. What else?
Okay, sleuth. All right. I feel like somebody is going to be spying, and maybe they already have because they stumbled upon something that may make them think that you're with somebody else or you're not interested in them or something, but they're feeling a little worried about what they've uncovered from their sleuthing. <laughs> Maybe, but and also they're seeing they're seeing you as beautiful, and you're my destiny. And also, maybe from their sleuthing around, they've discovered you know what this person does is mine. If she belongs to me, or he belongs to me. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. What do the romance angels have to say? Ooh, trust. Very important, very important <laughs> in love relationships. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. What is going on in this situation? What do you need to learn from all of this? Is he spying on you? What's going on? going on okay what's going on whoa there you go we got the guardian and the enchantress <laughs> and the six of swords all right so the six of swords is a journey it's like the twin flame journey sometimes and but it's like and it could also mean a trip or traveling or uh yeah headed towards each other or yeah it could be she's facing him so this is what i'm going to do with this one the guardian and the enchantress are extra cards in my my extend expanded deck so i'm going to read you the definition since you since you don't know them very well either right I mean, I know them because I picked <laughs> I picked them out, but the gar the the guardian <clears throat> is um, some fan fiction of Kratos, the god of war, and he represents the protector, the masculine, the defender, the keeper. Keeper, he's watchful. He's a guide. He's a caretaker. He's kind. He's the champion of the weak. He's like a mentor type, warm-hearted and charitable and just, dominant, exacting and strict. So. He can be a lot of things like justice and judgment and the emperor all kind of mixed in one. Except it's more like he's guarding the castle instead of actually being the king of the castle in a sense. So, but because his role is, is almost like he's more like an empress to energy because he's a caretaker. So he's, he's, he's got a kind of a nurturing quality. The Enchantress is kind of a shapeshifter. Um, if you remember in um, Beauty and the Beast, the Enchantress in the beginning of the story is the one that represents um, the beast with the rose, and he shuns her. And so that's kind of how the story begins by her trying to teach the beast a lesson and helping. It's not, but it wasn't out of cruelty, really. It's out of out of um helping his soul you know in order to f to help to heal himself to heal his soul she had to uh he had to learn this lesson about love you know about this lesson of love <laughs> okay so the enchantress is um and this is actually the enchantress by arthur hughes she's a shape shifter a teacher a guide she's magical she could be a seductress she could be wise She's could be like a fairy, somebody who gives lessons or teaches lessons. She's very attractive and beguiling and bewitching and spellbounding. The whole enchantress part is like to suck you in, almost like the way um, vampires suck people in, you know, like um, it, 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 they're sort of irresistible and magnetic. So she could be a sorceress, but the, her beauty or the, not just her beauty, but the quality about her attracts people in order to trust her and listen to her as she teaches her lessons or whatever something like that <laughs> all right in other words uh i 
I have a long story about Cherry Enchantress, why my last name is Enchantress, but it has something to do with actually a curse because because being an Enchantress is a gift and a curse at the same time. It's almost like people are attracted to you, but you have to figure out what you... You have to help them. It's almost like being be, people being attracted to you and asking you to be a teacher and a guide and then that then that responsibility becomes yours and then some people become like like they don't want to let go of you because because they've been enchanted like they're you know ha- almost like a, a spell so that's the story of cherry enchantress is kind of like that like somebody put a spell on cherry enchantress and changed her name from one name cherry whatever to cherry enchantress so that people they came across her would be spellbound so to speak so that's where that name came from and anyway hope you know um let's go ahead and get into your charms i i know some of you are curious about these kinds of stories and some of you are impatient they're like like come on come on come on, let's get to this <laughs> let's get to the to this to the um charm what did the charm have to say oh you got sure so i'll put out the plate so we can dissect these charms here you got this top hat could represent a past life that you had you have jasmine who's she's a character she could be connect this part could be connected to pile one who had aladdin like this connection between those two characters then you have um Tinkerbell again, who's bringing the pixie dust, which is the, the last element to fly, the magic. It's a solid situation. Oh, look, see, in the Beauty and the Beast, the Enchantress brings the rose. So the beast has to learn how to love before the last petal falls, you know. Yeah, we had the beast in the first pile, as at least as the marker, you know. We had, his name is Adam, who knew. <laughs> then we have... Um, we have Bruce Springsteen, so your divine one could be like a rock star, you know. It you should check out um Bruce Springsteen's video Dancing in the Dark. That connection between him and the divine, you know, it's like he's the rock star and then the girl in the audience is is, you know, starstruck, but they dance together as if they're equals, you know. So you have Italy, Nay, uh, sure, good, I'm glad that was a name. <laughs> sure, and sing. Even if we're still just dancing in the dark. Hey, baby. All right, and then we got Olaf. So something might be happening in the winter months. The rider is great. The rider is all about um, messages, incoming news, a visitor, you know, but new things coming in and communication. So if you were hoping for some communication, it is coming in. The fish also, when it's just one out, then I, I just kind of look at it as talking about finances and good money situation for you. If you've got um, the, the um, I got your back charm. I like this one because it could be about parenthood, you know, taking care of somebody an elderly person taking care of a weaker person but it could also be about somebody has your back your person has your back they care about you they're always thinking about you they got your back you know this could also makes me think of like sometimes you ride like riding on the horse or riding on the motorcycle things like that and then we've got bells that could be a lot of things like wedding bells or church bells or just like wake up call or your alarm bells in the morning but it has a sort of feeling of waking up I'm waking up you know, I feel it in my bones. So something like that. All right, you guys, I hope you like that. I'm going to move on to the next. Just going to let you know that I'm going to be live tonight. If you're watching in real time on September, whatever today is, the 22nd, um, I'm going to be live tonight with Queen Sugar. We're going to do it together. And she's going to help with pendulum readings and I'm going to do Scrabble. We're just going to do hand readings tonight. All right. And um, so, yeah, you can get your extended message tonight with the Scrabble. So check out the details in my community page. It'll be at 9 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time from 9 to 11. First come, first serve, cutting it off um, probably about not, about 10, 10 o'clock so we can get everybody done by 11. All right. I'll see you tonight. Moving on to the next. 
Alrighty, and last but not least, we have pile three with Prince Naveen from the Frog Princess. <laughs> the Frog Prince and the Princess. I don't know what it's called. All right, let's see what your messages are from your person. Messages from your person. Person can be male, female, masculine, feminine. Let's see what they have to say. What are your messages from your person? Let's see. Ooh, I want to feel your touch. Really nice. Ooh, you are the woman of my dreams. And I want to do bad things with you. Ooh. And I love your smile. Very nice. Beautiful. All right. Let's see how they're feeling. These, all of these, these, there's two more of these decks in my Etsy shop. And then I shall, I should be getting another shipment soon. Just, just trying to re just kind of rejuggle things make it more efficient for myself and everybody so just bear with me with my products <laughs> i'll be ordering more of these though they're pretty pretty popular so the sentimental silhouettes we've got betrayed see this could be tied in with number two with pile number two feeling like the floor is about to swallow me whole, hoping I'm wrong. So they could think that you're doing something that you're not, or maybe you are, but they might be getting the wrong impression. Like, no, this is my best friend. No, this is my brother. Or, this is not anybody important. We're just hanging out. Whatever it is, they might be getting the wrong impression. So just know that this, that's a possibility here in this situation where they stumbled upon something that makes them feel betrayed. Alright, and we also have, like in that pile number two, we have Divine Masculine. I am your counterpart. I am complete when I'm with you. You are my missing piece. We travel our life path together. You also have passion. And, well, I'm going to shuffle these because they like all clump together. <laughs> Let's see. Passion is I feel strong drive to take you in my arms and get naughty with you. Right, because he said he wants to do bad things with you, but he's kind of stressed out like something's stressing him out. It might not be you, like he's got feelings for you, maybe something else's, or she, um, she's thinking something. But where do we go from here? Can we work this out? Feeling like I have questions but no answers, feeling stressed out about something, you know, whatever it could be. They want some clear solutions, and it's ha they're having trouble. You know, figuring out where, what to do next. All right. Let's see what um, we're going to use Queen Sugar's Love Notes Part 2 for some more information. Let's see what else they have to say. What else do they have to say? Wow. I need time to love myself more. See, that was in part two also. In pile two, I mean. <laughs> I say part two as if this is a three-part story, but... Wow, you are my joy. You are my light. You are my peace of mind. It's not you, it's me. Yeah, they got to they got to love themselves more. So they might be seeing things that aren't really there or somebody else is doing something. But anyway, or maybe they had a past experience with somebody they they loved that cheated on them and that betrayal plays in their mind so much that they um they have problems trusting, you know trusting you because of other things that have happened to them in the past let's see what your romance angels have to say let's see what do the romance angels say about all of this let's see what do the romance angels have to say Ooh, it's safe for you to love see that's interesting. Maybe both of you have trust issues. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This it this what you have between the two of you is a high energy love, okay? So trust it and know that it's right. It's meant to be. You and I were just meant to be. <laughs> uh, I can't forget my my pretty princesses here. 
So this is a jumbo deck of um, of playing cards that I turned into a Lennerman. Let's see what the princesses have to say. They usually get it spot on. Let's see what are what do what what else is going on here? Oh, should I take these? Okay, I'll we'll take them. <laughs> We've got engagement. Whoa. We've got um, overcome decision time transformation and a mystery. The mystery ties into um, pile number one. There's something that they have to overcome. A decision needs to be made. A transformation needs to occur. What is this mystery event that's about to happen for you guys? Because it could bring about a new beginning for you sometime in the future. Maybe an engagement. <clears throat> Engagement can also represent the leveling up of a relationship, transforming it, transforming it from like boyfriend and girlfriend until husband and wife, or whatever the next step might be for you. You know, you could go from like not talking to talking. You could go from talking to dating. You could go from dating to moving in together. You know, so engagement is kind of like that leveling up or that new phase. Hmm, but. In the pile number one, 10 represented something may be happening in October. So I feel like this could be a continuation of that. There's There could be a desire here to, to level up your relationship. So let's see what the, what the tarot has to say about it. Let's see what the tarot has to say. cover his cute face all right <laughs> he's the one that's got a nice smile right I love his smile too I love so you maybe you both have nice smiles all right let's see what else what else can spirit tell us about the situation some guidance maybe <laughs> what's going on here so we've got oh some kind of challenge struggle the five of wands this could be an internal thing because over here it's like not you it's me it's not you it's me maybe there's some kind of inner battle you know because you are my joy my life it's not you it's me you know I need to love myself more so there's some kind of inner turmoil inner struggle going on maybe okay you got the hanged man some kind of suspension we've got the magician magician could be like manifesting things trying to manipulate things as well you know like manifesting is good that's like the positive way to do it <laughs> manipulating things is like trying to get people to go against their wishes by whatever means you can do um the ace of wands though is really good so it's like this is definitely passion and new beginnings new starts and music involved and joy and like a symphony and we have the hero fent too which is nice he's he's all about um the masculine the masculine's higher self you know like really getting in tune with their higher knowledge their higher um information and sensibilities um but just remember that and this is also like a marriage card too the hero fin is about dependability and stability and um and commitment but also just remember that the hero fin is about rituals and ceremonies and the practical earthly things so sometimes when a masculine is in the hero fin energy they might not see that the the spiritual they might not see the picture the way you see it like if you're seeing uh, you might be seeing it more in the high priestess way, which is kind of like a subconscious way, like in a dream world, a, um, a 5D connection. And the Hierophant is using, just like the magician, their tools, like their earthly tools at hand. The magician uses 
physical things to create magic. The Hierophant combines his intuition and and ritual, 3D ritual to to um, act out his faith. You know, to show his faith. So there are different kinds of of you know spiritualism, and this kind is a little bit maybe different than yours. But it doesn't mean he's not trying and then he's not growing and learning. There could be like this debate going on in his head. Maybe he has to surrender to um, a new belief system or surrender to to a, a new way of thinking. This could also be him kind of, you know, meditating and, and you know, looking outside the box. Just, yeah, seeing things in a different way, in a different light. All right, let's see what your charms have to say. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's getting dark. Let's see. We'll just put the plate down so we can get a good look. We've got, mm, let's roll the die and see where it lands. One. So, one plus one is one <laughs> in the twin flame world, right? It starts with one. You've got love, you got why, you got color, four leaf clover of good luck. Why again? Ask yourself why you're in what you're doing, what you're doing. Is it still working for you? Maybe it's time to tweak things. Maybe it's time to reassess. Beautiful and good. You've got France and the Eiffel Tower, so it could be some kind of French connection, maybe. Ooh, you've got uh, the crown, which is the divine masculine, divine feminine. This is royalty. You've got the thimble, which is protection. You have the mar green marble, which it represents earth. And, ooh, Ariel lost her fins. And maybe she's going through a transformation where she wants to give up her fins so she can get feet but she had to pay the price with her voice so don't pay that price you know don't give up part of yourself um you've got to let them love you for who you are you know maybe that's not you maybe it's them trying to work on loving themselves for who they are you have saint christopher's who's the patron saint of travelers and there's this direction this makes me think a lot of the um of the hanged man card you know it's like you know, looking outside the box and deciding what to go, where to go next. Maybe you're asking the question why while you're ha hanging there. The ship could be a trip, but this could also represent the battle within, like the battleship. The corn is, could be about the holiday, you know, the harvest season. And then we've got, oh, you got a little cherry charm, cherry blessed. And we've got two this hard to see well, now that it's getting darker. St. Thomas. Thomas Aquinas. We've got a rocking chair. It's all about a waiting game, right? Divine timing and waiting. But here we go with the pine cones and the it could represent fall and harvest time. We got a little puppy. I did a private reading today about um, somebody wanting to know how this puppy was gonna work out. So yeah, maybe it'll work out great if you pick this pile. You are blessed. You know, having affection and love from all sources is a good thing. Hope. It takes a lot of work though, So, but it's a good lesson. <laughs> You've got uh, the, the baby rocking horse. Ooh, so it's a lot of rocking going on. Maybe it's like soothing, you know, the baby rocks on the horse. If it's self, it's like self-soothing. And you rock on the rocking chair as a way to relax and self-soothe. It kind of reminds us of when our mommies, you know, rocked us. And the horse seat can represent also fertility and, and babies coming in your life. Or it could be um, a new fur baby. You've got see we had the we had the um, hero fan, but this also represents that there's a psychic um, moon uh, subconscious connection here too. Bingo is talking about a win, a win in your favor, nice and taking a chance and winning big. You got sweet K 
candy cane could be about Christmas or just sweet things in general. Mittens it could be about things getting cooler and wearing your mittens to keep warm. Also, like oven mittens too. <laughs> You've got this crazy guy. I think this is Mr. or Mrs. Tattooed or, you know, a person that has unusual skin. Maybe special piercings, tattoos, uh, vitiligo, other other skin situations that make them sometimes stand out in in a good way you know like sometimes they're very it makes them look very unusual and beautiful and sometimes it could be something that makes them feel self-conscious so they have to love themselves more here you got the um the bird caged bird uh i feel like a lot of cabin fever here but there is a very good chance of some travel coming in maybe some short distant travel the tennis could represent tennis racket could represent that the ball is in your court it's time to now hit the ball back but maybe you know maybe the ball is in their court and they're about to hit it back to you and that's a good sign like if if you haven't heard anything from them maybe soon you will hear be hearing something maybe they'll be returning that the volley back to you <laughs> so to speak all right you guys well i hope you enjoyed the reading that's it for this reading um please stay tuned later in a couple hours i guess i'll be going live with queen sugar and we're gonna play with scrabble and she's gonna do some free pendulum readings it will be between 9 p.m and 11 p.m central standard time Houston time and um, or Ch and Chicago time, right? I I don't know. If she's is she Chicago, anyway. But um, so yeah, we're both we're I think we're both uh, Central time, and so is my helper, uh, Nina. Hello, Nina, and you guys come out if you like for a little bit of fun. I'm gonna cut it off. I will be taking um super chat donations, but I have to cut it off at ten o'clock. Nothing past ten, otherwise. I, I can't stay awake past 11. I might be able to tonight because I slept a lot last night. But anyway, please do come out if you so choose and enjoy times with us, our kindreds, and um, hanging out and just chatting and, and enjoying each other's company and having fun readings. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.